Hello everyone, it's Friday 1st of December and I came to this place to pick up my runner's registration number because I'm participating at this famous Geneva Marathon, La Course de l'Escalade. We have different categories, so I'm participating in that one for a all 5k run. Hello everyone, it's Saturday the 2nd of December and this morning I need to get ready for my... Uh, 5k run it's called la course de l'escalade it's a famous run that happens every year in geneva historical run um it's the first time i'm participating at this kind of event running event and to tell you honestly to be frank with you i'm a little scared i think it's in the, in the mind though but it's just there will be a lot of people, right? And um, it's cold and um, they said it would snow, but it didn't though. It, snow uh, it rained cats and dogs yesterday. So it's wet and mushy everywhere. I hope it will dry out a little bit. Um, I think it's silly, right? To be afraid or to get scared or, you know, to hold yourself back. Or maybe is it normal to feel like that? I'm going to wear shorts, leggings, or is it okay? Am I being too, what's the word? Am I being too, too much, too extra? Because then if I would wear cycling shorts, then I would have the camel too situation. You know what I mean? Then I want, I don't want that. And I have it usually, you know. Nine out of ten times, or eight out of ten times, I have this thing. So I'm going to top the leggings up with some shorts. I have some nice, comfortable, stretchy shorts from Adidas. I asked my mom to be next to me. I mean, like, in, I mean, that she would come and hold my stuff. Because as soon as it would start, I would remove my jacket winter jacket and give it to her by the way it's the time to wear running um winter jackets like parkas so i would give it to her uh and then when the running is over the run is over i would actually uh take it back from her like this i would stay in warm you know what i'm saying i think it's important for me to say that i'm going against the clock I need to do less than 30 minutes. I look like um unput together, but uh, whatever it is. So now I'm at this place, the place where we are gonna run. These are my boxing uh, colleagues, um, people that I'm gonna run with. We are gonna represent the club. I told you in my previous uh, vlog, if you follow me then you would know <laughs> so anyway so we're gonna participate in this thing to represent boxing club geneva geneva boxing club and these are my people yeah these are fun people they were amazing i had so much fun participating in this event representing my boxing club together with these amazing people and uh yeah so we were getting ready in here they, there's mom, mom mom behind uh asian lady that you saw in a sack and in a gray scarf um and yeah it was really really fun it was a, an amazing experience participating in this thing um we there were several um thousand people in this uh, thing, we wanted to run 5K under 30 minutes. And um, this is a warm up. Unfortunately, since there was a commercial music, you know, like uh, famous uh, music uh, b behind, I cannot play the sounds because of copyright. But uh, yeah, so we are warming up with the music, having fun, and I'm trying to film and warm up at the same time because I need the content for myself. I need the content for my boxing club as well because. I actually produced some um, content, content uh, for them for this event and I produced them for them uh, from time to time, like 
picking out reels and uh, photos. Voila, voila. So yeah, it was really fun. I was actually a bit nervous, as I told you. So this run has started here. Unfortunately, uh, at least I filmed, right? But I didn't film in YouTube mode. Voila. So uh, it's me running because, um, you know, they say you can try to do slowly, not slowly, like uh, you can keep medium pace when you start, you don't have to go at full speed. So that's what I was doing. And you know, my um, uh, boxing coach, he saw us, he was there, uh, he participated in this event as a spectator. He said that, you know, the only person he saw was uh, filming, uh, who was filming was me, actually, <laughs> he was making fun of me. Yeah, so my results. Speaking of my results, I actually was uh, in 26 minutes, 30, uh, wait, 44 seconds, 41, 26 minutes, 41 seconds. And this is the aftermath. Very happy, very excited. We got some uh, goodies. So we got uh, these, um, you know, the t-shirt was provided by our boxing club, but we got, what did we get? A, 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 a glass? A plastic glass some apple some it wasn't much of a thing though I, they could have done a little better i guess um you know like um th something to keep long lasting whatever so here's the clip of me running <laughs> i ran for life in here seriously Hello guys, so it happened. I did the thing. I ran my first ever 5K um, competition wise. How did it go? Amazing, actually. I can't say amazing, um, you know, I can't say that I had this feeling of, wow, I'm doing it great, um, you know, during the whole duration. But when I saw the results, you know, my results were better than what I uh, could have done. So I came in 26 minutes, 41 seconds. Uh, and we were supposed to come within 30 seconds, I mean, 30 minutes of time uh, for 5K minus 100 and 110 meters. So yeah, it went really well and uh, we just had drinks with my boxing club. My coach came to support us and um, it actually went really well. He actually um, asked us to have a drink with him. So as a boxing club, there's a family that ran together. We just, yeah, we enjoyed this evening. Um, what is the outcome? The outcome is that I really want to continue running. I think I want to you know, participating in these kinds of events. I think that it was a good kickstart and um, um, that I should be doing this more and more. So it's after the event and after the drinks um, and my, uh, the, the chocolate uh, eater, the car beater that I am, I decided, I decided to buy these Swiss chocolate um, um, chunk, uh, chunks. So these are like uh, sold by weight and they are amazing. I think I rewarded myself after the run. Um, so it was just uh, a treat for myself. This is very delicious. The best uh, chocolate in the world would probably be Swiss chocolate. I don't know, you, you guys maybe heard Belgian, but I think it should be all right too. Hello everyone. So I'm back at my place, at my apartment. Oh, because I can see myself over there. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, let me give you my two cents on this marathon. It's not even marathon. It's one eighth of marathon or whatever. 5K running uh, competition this was a a tough thing for me but um you know i i don't run you know i've never run for this kind of thing i didn't train to run i only do three times a workout uh, lately i've been doing three times a boxing workout and uh um 
you know fitness I've, i haven't done it for but the past month because i have a busy schedule so um let me let me put it straight like this um i do not come from a running background uh for me this was a challenge and for me this was a way to support my boxing club and because it was a group uh subscription um, um signing up and uh, so we represented the club but of course everybody run ran uh, according to their um, age and um, you know age category um but yeah so it was a, a group uh thing but anyways for me um the first round i did not push myself because they say that the first one the first round you have to make it kind of like normal to a little upper to normal pace and then you know there were these um you know what's it called um it would go up and go down there was a lot of things like that in the old town of geneva uh the road was not straight it was up and down he um he uh, there were a lot of hills and um you know um yeah so um i did um good actually pretty good my target was 26 um, minutes uh, 15 seconds ish but i did it for 20 seconds 26 minutes and 41 seconds it was really good the only thing that i want to say is that you know when i reached the finish line i was reaching finish line i had probably 70 meters or 100 meters maybe less than 100 meters I actually saw the clock and I thought maybe I was, you know, this was the the, the minute counter, but I was wrong. It was a uh, the clock, the actual, you know, thing, and it was showing sixteen twenty nine. I was like, it's there's no way I came in sixteen minutes, you know. Um, but then it turns out it was sixteen hours twenty nine minutes, and then there were seconds running. Mm, so when I reached the the finish line i almost you know i thought i would throw up because it was so intense that you know the the last 350 meters i was actually pushing myself to the limit that you know i could um i said i could just you know but then it passed once i stopped it passed so um the result is that i want to do it again if not this competition, then any other competition of this kind, I actually want to prepare myself for this. Um, I want to introduce running two or two times a week would be okay-ish. You know, three times a week plus gym plus boxing would be really, really nice. But, um, you know, I'll see how, 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 I'll see about that. But I really want to introduce at least once a week of running. Yeah? um let's start from 5k so um yeah i'm i'm really happy with my results i was as i told you i was scared i was like you know uh, nervous and um but it really went well I, I i had a chance to film so you know they say that if you're going for two um, you know if it's like circled uh, type of um running if there, there are circles so you have to finish one round then the second round, the first round, you have to ha make it um, not very, uh, you don't have to run quickly. And then the second one, you really got to give it all you got. But then, you know, you cannot give all you got. You you can sprint, you know, like interval training is the way to go. So, yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, alive, I didn't fall. The only thing is my, um, I um, dropped uh, one of my... Um, gloves so there i lost like five seconds but i mean okay it's okay it's fine um then um you know you know i had to drink some water because i'm someone who really does drink water i cannot do it without water people are different you know i i, I brought my flax bottle so i had to drink and then i filmed like 20 seconds <laughs> maybe i lost time in there as well but you know, it was for me, for me, it was more like to document the thing. My mom was there to cheer me up and to film and um, to take photos. And uh, so for me, it was a way to document, to to actually um, go through the steps um, and to um, revisit it and give the feedback to myself. 
Uh, and yeah, I mean, that was the goal. Of course, it would have been nice to be in the top 100. No, I mean, like top 20, but I'm not there. I mean, I physically could not have been there. You know what I'm saying? Like there are people who run for four years, let alone, I don't know how many years the girls that won, they were top one, top 10 they did but you know it doesn't matter for me it for me it was the way to go against the clock and it was me against myself of course you know when you're reaching the the what is the called the finish line you really want to be among the the best you, you really want to you know make sure that you know people you know do not drag you behind uh you want to make sure to reach the finish uh, goal you want to make sure that you know you are advancing with people that are advancing but then you are also advancing more than the ones that are advancing so you see the point uh so i actually uh, did that and this got me 26 minutes 41 seconds um i would say a pretty good result for someone who ain't never run okay that being said, I want to say have a great week, weekend, have a great day whenever you come across this uh, video that I just did, uh, this very vlog. And yeah, I upload once a week. I try to at least. I mean, um, sometimes it can go up to two, three weeks, but I try to catch up with shorts. Um, so yeah, thank you for stopping by and um, see you soon. Thanks. Bye.